hata 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 we dem aga do ya no no link and the attack no hata hata bring a old chain set up no link hata 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 Bless up my viewers and subscribers, big up on the cell, man, I don't know the thing, you know, man, I don't know, so they attacking boss, they are new link from new link production. So viewers and subscribers, channel, so Toots Ebert was to be laid to rest yesterday, people, and unfortunately, he didn't get to lay to rest, yeah, so on Thursday, which is the 15th of October, people, Toots Ebert was to be laid to rest as do at Dove Cat where everything go there, you know what I mean? Her son everything ready up funeral gone and everything people but something just went down where him could have laid to rest yesterday viewers and subscribers. So while I'm going through people you will see clips where photos taken from the funeral people you will also see a little video clip people and all of those are from the funeral of Toots Ebert people yesterday which was Thursday the 15th of October 2020 so now my viewers and subscribers as I have this article now I explain what them say go on why he didn't get the late to rest yesterday and thing and them have to bring back him body go put on ice again people you know what I mean let me just explain what them say go on now it wasn't a sweet day and a dandy send off for a reggae icon Frederick Toots Hibbert on Thursday his body having to remain on another day on the ice after the family failed to secure a signed burial order for it to be interred after the funeral service. It was a bizarre twist of the tale for a man revered all over the world for his iconic songs on stage, showmanship and down-home gospel fervor. Gospel singer Genevieve Bailey dubbed the burial artifacts pass as divine intervention. This morning, I chose not to attend my father's funeral service today. I couldn't go to a funeral that would not honor my father or the people who gave him a career. I couldn't put my signature to that. I chose to pray for God to intervene so that the people who gave him iconic status could mourn him and send him off. Bailey, Toots' eldest daughter, told news. After a post-mortem is completed, a burial order is normally issued by the police to the person responsible for burial. The police will then deliver the post-mortem signed by the pathologist or medical doctor to the coroner's court. This burial order had apparently not been signed by the relative authorities. Bailey said she had objected to private nature and the parsimonious manner in which the funeral arrangements were handled. All when we as Jamaicans don't have it, we try to give our loved ones the best. And that private funeral was a travesty. Look what God did. He came in. That is God. I didn't agree to any private funeral. It was great Dis disrespect to my father and who he was and the people who supported him. I stayed away and stayed on my knees and I saw prayer. Warriors prayed with me and he answered our prayer, she said. I am rejoicing. I know he deserved more. I am working with Minister Grinch to ensure a big send off for our for off for him where his friends in the industry and his fans can celebrate him. By tomorrow we shall have a date for the people to celebrate Frederick Toots Hibbert the way he ought to be celebrated. I am elated that God stepped in for us. Toots was a people person. He was for the people, Bailey said. But won't Toots be buried tomorrow when the burial order is finally signed? Question. I don't know. I am celebrating and thanking God today. The man observes to be in Clarendon. My, the man, sorry, deserves to be in Clarendon. My family in Clarendon were not given the opportunity to share in his going home. My family called me and they were crying. Let us have faith in God, holding on so God can come through and honor our uncle and father. It is time to give back to him. Daddy deserves better in Jesus' name, she said. The private funeral service was held at 11 a.m. Thursday at the chapel at Paris Funeral Home on the outskirts of Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Toots died at the University Hospital of the West Indies on September 11, 12 days after being admitted after contracting COVID-19. He was 77. 
Hebert was one of 10 finalists in the recent Jamaica Festival Song Competition, a contest he won three times with Bam Bam 1966, Sweet and Dandy 1969 and Pumps and Pride 1972. He released his latest album Got To Be Tough on August 28. Formed in the early 1960s, the Metals 1968 single Do The Reggae was the first song to use the word reggae and helped introduce the genre to a global audience. Their popular songs include Monkey Man, Six and Seven Books of Moses, Pressure Job, 54 to 46 That's My Number, Beautiful Woman and Funky Kingston. In 2005, Toots and the Metals won the Grammy Award for Best Reggae Album with True Love. Seven years later, he was awarded the Order of Jamaica by the Jamaica government. Wow, viewers and subscribers, as I've seen, they are now looking at the pictures and everything, I understand. And it's really sad to know what's really been going on, people, when this iconic, this legend need to be laid to rest. And I do understand the daughter's situation, people. I do understand where all of this is coming from because I was reading an article the other day and about the burial arrangements and things. People, because it was stated first that Toots was going to be buried in Clarendon where he is originally from, where his families are and things. Well, unfortunately, people, when it comes down to the way and to the last minute now, we heard that he was going to be buried at Dovecott and not Clarendon, which they said the wife of Toot Hibbert insists that he wants him, she wants him to be buried at Dovecott. Well, viewers and subscribers, in the end, I did hear that um, a relative of Toot, which is a very close relative, one of the eldest relatives that he got, did say he can't do nothing about it because the wife she got the upper hand and anything she says goes you know so in the end viewers and subscribers the daughters were not happy because they said even though there's a pandemic in jamaica and jamaica have a health crisis now due to the covid 19 and all these restrictions people she said she's saying what she want her daddies to get a big funeral you understand i did hear they even said they want this funeral to be even bigger than bob marley's funeral which honestly viewers and subscribers i understand the tremendous works toots have done he's a legend but in the end we all have to understand what is going on right now you understand and it would be just so unfair we understand everything to get crowd gather at the funeral like that for toots you know what they can do and i think they could have done is have a motorcade where motorists stay in their cars and do a motorcade even from kingston to maypen to clarendon where he's from then take him back if you want to bury him at dovecott and not maypen you understand but at least you know i think they could even take his body to the national arena since as the government praised this man so much but you see what i look into a lot of things viewers and subscribers these people who call themselves government when they should step in when these icons passed away people they don't but when these icons are there they act and they come and they do this and they do that but in the end people it's like they don't check they don't remember them because I think they would treat Toots a way where they would carry him and honor him at the national arena where people could go there, you know, just like how they do with politicians, you know, social distance, same way. But in the end, viewers and subscribers, honestly, I feel what the daughter is saying. And if I was in her position, I would be thinking that my dad didn't deserve, does not deserve a private funeral, you know. They could have a funeral, but at least practice social distancing. If they want to go and view his body, you know, they would take like 10 persons at a time with the six feet apart social distancing thing. And from there, but in the end, viewers and subscribers, as what the daughter say, God step in because the prayer work. But in the end, maybe today, which is Friday, we'll hear that, you know, he laid to rest today or on the Saturday. I don't know, people, but all I can say, he was to be laid to rest. As I told you before, on Thursday, which is the 15th of October. But unfortunately, he didn't get to lay to rest because of the burial paper to sign. Come, um, All of those stuff and things did they went through. So, you don't know viewers and subscribers, you know. Just make Mr. Toots rest in peace. And viewers, as I see, the pictures, that are some highlights from the funeral and thing, you know. Enough love, people. Enough respect. And just be good and be safe and be blessed out there. Peace. Love and respect. Attack. Big up. I'm out. Blessings.